Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss this example. Okay. So what they have given? They have given this function. We have to find residue. Residue, but at its double pole. Double pole that means pole of order two. First of all, we have to find its pole. Okay, and as well as we have to find their orders also. And if you get any pole of order two, then for that point we have to find the residue, right? So let us start to solve this problem. First of all, I will write the given function. What we have, we have. What is our f of z? Let me write z square upon z plus one square z minus two. Okay, so let us find the poles first. If I put z is equal to two, this bracket will be zero. Two minus two, zero. That means denominator is also zero. So z is equal to two is a pole. What is its order? One. Since power of this bracket, nothing is there. That means one is there. So its power of bracket is one. So z is equal to two is a pole of order one, or you can also call it as simple pole. Let us talk about this bracket. If I put z is equal to minus one. Minus one plus one zero. That means z is equal to minus one is a pole of order two. Okay, so I got the poles. So let me clearly mention here. Z is equal to minus one is a pole of order two, and z is equal to two is a Simple pole. Simple pole means pole of order one, right? After that, we have to find residue, but we have to find residue only at its double pole. Double pole means pole of order two. So that means they have asked to find residue only at this point. Okay, since its order is two. So residue of f of z at z is equal to minus one. Okay, its order is two. So actually, there are two different formulas to calculate residue at poles. If we have a simple pole, then we have a simple formula, and if you have a pole of order greater than one, we have a different formula. So here our order is two, that means greater than one. So I should go for the second formula. Okay, I will write the formula here first. The formula says one upon n minus one factorial. Limit z tends to z not. Z not means that point minus one. N minus one derivative, right? That z minus z not. This is our z not. It has already minus sign, so minus minus plus square. Okay, actually raised to n. I should write. So let me mention raised to n f of z. So what is my n? N means order of that point. Okay, order. So let us put n is equal to two everywhere. So this is equal to since my n is two, two minus one, one factorial limit z tends to minus one, two minus one one. So that means we have to go for just first derivative z plus one here also n two f of z. What is my f of z? This entire f of z I will put here z square upon z plus one square right and z minus two. Will you guess the next step? Uh, this z plus one square z plus one square will get cancelled. Okay, so let us write the remaining part here. One upon one factorial, which is one itself. Getting okay? no need to write limit z tends to minus one. Okay, derivative. So inside that bracket, what we have mm, z square is there upon Z minus two. Okay, okay. See, tell me how to find derivative. So here we have u upon v form. Getting so I should use u upon v formula of derivative. If you don't know, no need to worry. I will write here. So derivative of u upon v formula says v derivative of u minus u derivative of v upon v square. This is formula to find derivative. If you have the form u upon v. This is my u and this is our v. Numerator is u and denominator is v. Let us use this formula. Limit z tends to minus one v. That means denominator derivative of numerator minus numerator derivative of 
denominator upon square of denominator. I use the same formula. Limit z tends to minus 1, z minus 2. Derivative. What is derivative of z square? 2z minus z square. What is derivative of z? 1. Derivative of 2? 0. Since it is constant, z minus 2 square. Okay. So, we have found out the derivative. Now, what we have to do? We have to find value of limit. Let us apply the limit. Apply the limit means what? Simply put z is equal to minus 1 everywhere. Let us put z is equal to minus 1. Minus 1 minus 2. If I put minus 1, minus 1 into 2 minus 2. Minus minus 1 square. Minus 1 minus 2 square. Minus 1 minus 2 minus 3, right? This is minus 2 and minus 1 square plus 1. Minus 1 minus 2 minus 3. Minus 3 square is 9. So, this is minus minus plus 6 minus 1 by 9, which is 5 by 9. This is required residue. So, in this way, we calculated residue at its double pole. They have asked to find residue only at its pole of order 2. So, that's why I will not find residue at z is equal to 2. In this way, we have finished this problem. Just make a screenshot of it. Then we will stop. Thank you. See you in the next video.